In Matthew 5, Jesus says we're to be the salt and the light. And if the salt loses its taste, what, what good is it to anybody to be thrown out and trampled over by men? If we're to sprinkle the earth with the salt of God to preserve it for eternity, we need to be out there and throwing salt on the wounds of the world. And we're to be the light. And who lights a lamp only to put it under the bed? But we're to let our light shine before men so that we can give glory to God in heaven. To be the salt and the light. There's nothing more refreshing and rejuvenating than being at the beach, being at the salt water. And when the sun is shining, you have the salt and light. Who can say there's anywhere more peaceful than being at the beach? And just physically for our bodies to be out in the sun, to be in the ocean full of salt water. There's nothing more refreshing, rejuvenating, healing. It's God's natural remedy. It's no surprise that they were telling us to stay out of the sun, that they're always telling us to protect ourselves from the sun. You know, people were wearing masks and avoiding the beach at the beginning of COVID when I, I, I'd argue with a lot of rational evidence and, and just firsthand that being at the beach was one of the most healing places to be physically, spiritually, mentally. There's not a place where you can find more peace. And God designed it all. It's no mistake that our bodies are 70% water. This planet is about the same. It's mostly water. But we're to be salt in the light. We gotta remember that because this world is getting sprinkled with a lot of things to mute out the salt, to mute out the light. It's being covered in darkness, but it's spiritual, so people are blind to it. And that's about it. You know, Monk said he likes things more in nature. I was like, let me wait till I go to the beach. First time at the beach this summer. And uh, couldn't come at a better time. So just remember that. If you love the Lord, if you love Jesus, don't be afraid to share that light with people. On the way here, I heard a testimony of a guy who was on the Titanic who was just yelling out to people. He was wearing a life vest and he was looking. Who is not saved? Is anyone not saved? And he asked a guy who was holding on to him. A board, are you saved? The guy said no. The guy took off his life jacket, put it on him, and said, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart and you will be saved. And then after giving up his life vest to that man, he drowned into the ocean. But that man ended up giving his life to the Lord, the man that he had given the life jacket to. That's an example of being the salt and the light, being representatives of Jesus, being willing to give it all so that someone can be saved eternally. A lot of people think they're saved in this world and things that they earn and goals that they meet here, but you can't take anything with you. But if you're the salt and the light, you're storing up treasures in heaven and we'll all get to delight in that one day when we are around the ultimate light, the way, the truth, and the life in Jesus Christ. I pray this finds you well. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.